The theme of today is it's not what you do, it's how you do it. You know what, let me rephrase that. What you do matters, but how you do it matters more. Ooh, I like that. So today is all about using four very highly effective stretches with intention and doing them the right way with a lot of focus there to get our desired result. What is that? To become more open in our body and be able to use our body the way that we want, play, explore, and be strong. Let us begin. First, we have the lunge and reach. So obviously, start in a deep lunge position. You can put your hands on the ground and I want you to bring your hips as low to the floor as possible. Now, taking the same shoulder of the leg that's forward, I want you to start to rotate that shoulder upwards to the sky. And then when you feel like you've gotten a lot of rotation there, reach your arm up. Now, this is the reason why this stretch is so effective because we're adding some rotation into this deep lunge, hip flexor stretched position. So the name of the game here is length. I want you to get as long as you can through the legs, really spreading them as much as possible. And the same with that arm going up, really reach that arm as high as you can to the ceiling. You should feel your, your hips stretching and you should also feel a lot of stretch through the whole spine. Let us move on to the German squat. Now this one is a bit unique. You probably haven't done this one before, but one of the positions that we don't do with our arms very much is put them behind us. And that's what really stretches out the front of the chest and the shoulder. So to do the German squat, you're going to grab onto a table or something sturdy behind you. You'll then squat your hips down. Now in the beginning, just go as low as feels comfortable for you. That may be above knee height, just to knee height. As you get more comfortable, I want you to squat down lower and lower, and this is going to bring your arm up higher compared to your torso, which is going to give you more of a stretch. Now we also wanna make sure to externally rotate our shoulders. So you can do that by trying to pop that, that armpit forward and not letting this happen. The shoulder internally rotate and kind of face down. Show that shoulder pit, armpit, and get deep into that stretch. These are a lot of fun, enjoy. Next is the pretzel. I absolutely love this because you're essentially putting your body in a little pretzel to unwind a lot of the stiffness that accumulates from our modern day lifestyle. So to do this, you're gonna go in a sideline position you're then going to take that bottom foot and you're going to reach for it with your top arm. And you're gonna grab it. Now, we want to maintain that top knee either touching the floor. If you can't get it to touch the floor, you can put a little pillow there to prop your knee up off of. Now, once you're grabbing your leg behind you, you wanna take that shoulder and you want to slowly, gradually breathe into this and let that shoulder fall down to the ground. So we really want those shoulders to be pressed into the ground while maintaining that top knee to be pressed into the ground or the prop. You're really gonna wind yourself up here, essentially twist yourself into this great stretch to really open up. I learned this from Gray Cook many years ago. I love using this at nighttime. Um, yeah, to, to unravel all that, that stiffness that accumulates throughout the day. Lastly, we have the hang. The hang is so simple, yet so many people aren't using this tremendous position that will open up your shoulders and your spine. Now, to do the hang, you just need something overhead. Chin-up bar, gymnastics rings, a tree, and you're just going to simply grab on and you're gonna let gravity pull your torso down while your arms are obviously being pulled upward. Let the shoulder blades and the shoulder drift up towards your ears. You're gonna get a nice big stretch throughout the side of your torso, the back of your torso, the front of your torso, everywhere. Now, focus on your breath, right? Hanging in the beginning can be uncomfortable if you haven't done it for a while, and it'll cause you to, <sighs> nope, go to the nose, 
Stay centered in your breath, just like you should be doing in all these stretches. And the last thing to kind of focus on is not letting your rib cage raise up so much, but to keep a nice, good, neutral spine position. This is going to give you a very, very great stretch. And yes, the grip might go in the beginning, but that gets trained really fast if you keep at it. So here's the deal. A lot of people say they want to become more flexible and open in their body, but at the end of the day, they'd rather lay on the couch, sit on the couch, watch Netflix, scroll through the phone, then put the time and energy into doing some effective exercises. So make the commitment that you are going to focus your energy into these four stretches and you're going to put all your time, your, your focus and attention there, not on the phone, not in other worlds. You're going to center your breath and change will come a lot quicker than you may think. Do these four stretches for around 30 to 60 seconds each and then repeat it two times. Once you, you start getting used to it, repeat it three times. And when you start seeing that awesome change in your body, when you start getting even more motivated and inspired, come check out Guided and you'll get stretches just like these in different routines to do every single day to keep on taking your body to the next level to keep on unlocking more freedom. Guys, like the video, subscribe to Strength Side, and as always, 